Hey there, Joe. Good uh, early afternoon. It's like 12.25 p.m. on Sunday. Uh, this is for uh, Paul's at West Coast Model Cars. Uh, the Model Cars and Coffee. Well, Model Cars and flavored water for me, of course, because, you know, I don't do coffee. Mm. Anyhow, uh, I'm going to be making another video here in a bit. Uh, to show off the Mars Garage Rust Bucket reveal. But this is just something I want to show. This is non-model car related, but I stopped at one of the uh, area thrift antique stores and I picked up this thing. Well, it's not just that. Let's come back. It was these. I got for eight bucks. Now, it's not complete. None of these heads are in the bag or the box. It's just torsos, legs, and arms, and feet, and this, like, animal head. And I guess it's supposed to be a horse or something, because <laughs> this guy's riding it. But I looked these up online, and uh, they made them in plastic, and they made them in the wood like this one is. And uh, they kind of just snap on there, and some snap better than others, as you can see. See, the feet fall off sometimes. Sometimes they don't. Um, yeah, there's red ones and blue ones. and uh, It's kind of confusing. Um, yeah. But I just picked it up for the hell of it while I was in there because um, it was bizarre. And I looked them up online and they're, uh, you know, $7, $8 a set, $15, $40, depending on which edition. They made them in different amounts you know, sizes and shape boxes, so, ah, for eight bucks, you know, just something weird, I might just, I might get more of them eventually, just glue them together and make some strange people or creatures and, and, uh, maybe even paint them up and, you know, just glue them together rather than leave them uh, falling apart. I guess some will snap better than others, but yeah, that was bizarre. And then I picked up, uh, this Hot Wheels. I think I paid three bucks for it. This uh, 70 Camaro with the Champion logo on it. So, yeah, I picked up that. <coughs> and I went to the board in the hobby yesterday, knowing that pretty much everything that's out is out now, and I have it um, that I want anyhow. But I always stop in. And I walked in there, and up on the shelf, he had this for 20 bucks. Now, this isn't an original issue. This is a, I think, a 1995 reissue. So you can tell because it says so. Plus, it has this logo that wouldn't have been on the uh, original box here. But, uh, yeah, it's all minty, and it's all there. So, yeah. And I'm like, oh, what the heck? I'll get that for 20 bucks. That'll come in handy. I'll maybe build it as is out of the box and, you know, do my own thing to it. But might even chop it. I don't know. You know, because it's pretty much straight post. And you got the option of making it the panel. But, yeah, I picked up that. And, oh, just sitting here working on the Mars Garage uh, thing. I'm going to make a separate video for that for him. So, you'll get to see it there. But I've been working on that. And I got the riv here. I got to get the body bare metal. And, um, if I get that bare metal, um, do a skin out of there. I can throw it on that chassis. I gotta do stuff like the tail lights and a couple little things like that. And I can finish this up. This is due for the 4th of October. But then I got the Mercury. The 49 Merc. Oh my god. And Deuce. Yeah, Deuce, not right now, buddy. Um, come on, get down. Get down. And, um, yeah. I don't know if it's gonna make it for the first or not. I'm gonna have to really hustle it. Like I said, it's definitely getting no wiring. Um, it's just gonna get assembled and that's it. But I got bare metaling and assembling to do on that. So I got the rest of today and some of tomorrow and 
even some of the first technically because um you know it's going to be the first until midnight so i could you know come home from work and do some of it and if i have to and uh oh, excuse me and uh get it done and uh what else am i working on here let's see here uh yeah i got the uh I don't know if I show anybody this or not. This will be another uh, slot car body. Um, I'm going to put some rust holes in it. This is a 65 Coronet. This is the, you know, the stock sedan version. I mean, they're all pretty much the same body except for the altered wheelbase. So, yeah, this will be uh, getting some more weathering and some more detail into it. Let's see how well that looks. Let's get the camera angle change there a little bit. Let's try it without the light. Let's see if it'll focus. Probably trying to focus on everything, yeah. But yeah, it'll get a little more detail and stuff like that. Some mismatched areas and some primer. But yeah, that would be pretty cool when it's all done. And there's the Merc all polished out. I gotta start bare metaling the side trim here, and then uh, run some wash down the lines. The front and rear windows, uh, the trim's on the window, so yes, yeah, so there's that. And hold on, uh, I've also took this to work and airbrushed it. It just needs a uh, cleared. This is the my dad's tribute car that's a uh, Ford Guardsman Blue. Deuce, could you get out of everything? Yeah, it's got some plastic shavings stack static clinging to it. I did a blue interior with a slightly different shade and it'll get detailed out a little bit more and I just gotta find the uh, excuse me. Uh you know the right wheel and tire combo. And, uh, you know, I'll just paint the chassis solid black. I'll, you know, probably paint the exhaust and the gas tank. But pretty much it's just going to be pretty much straightforward. Yeah, that's it. Got that done up. But there's no real rush on that one. So there's that. But, yeah, that's my quick version of uh, Model Cars and Coffee. Just a quickie video. I'm going to set the... Uh, uh, photo booth up here for the lighting and um you'll be seeing the uh mars garage uh rust bucket group build <sighs> excuse me a, a day early yeah because it's it's due the 30th so i'm going to do it today and um move on with the rest of these and see where i can go sitting here watching the uh roadkill garage episode here one of them and try to get some stuff done i just had lunch and time to move on so i will be right back with the mars garage one next so hey um thanks for watching and uh 